All right, so I want to talk today about this 2007 Toyota Camry that I bought. I'm out here, one of my favorite places in South Jersey. Unfortunately, where I would normally film, um, there are quite a few people out here. Uh, Camry itself, not the most stylish car. <laughs> you know, they're... Uh, a car. <laughs> I have got a lot of dirt on here from coming out here. As you can see, it's uh, a little dirty out here. So, picked this car up a couple weeks ago. Um, I actually have already done a video on it where I did the spark plugs and the air filter. Um, I need, and since I've gotten it, I've done the cabin air filter, an oil change brakes and rotors all the way around. Um, I ended up not filming all that stuff. But some things to note about this car. Um, it has these side windows, <laughs> or side uh, window vents. And uh, believe it or not, this car has 200 and almost 2,000 miles on it. Um, it has nice tires on it. Actually, they're pretty good. They did pretty well out here. <laughs> I'm probably one of the very few people brave enough to bring a Camry out here. <laughs> the uh, guy I got it from was a uh, Hindu fellow. Actually, I think he was Punjab. No, yeah, I think he was. We'll just say he was a fellow from India. He was out here uh, for school, and then he was going back to India. But let's, uh, let's move to the inside of the car. So far twice, I've hit record. And then there's loud music coming from somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully this is not <laughs> a third take that is going to fail. One of the things that Toyota has going for it is things are generally very logically laid out. From the driver's you know, point of view here, from the steering wheel, you got radio controls. You have, uh, you know, your wipers and all that. It's all pretty much able to be done without removing your hands from the or the uh, steering wheel. It has a very logically laid out um, dash center where you have. Uh, I might try to get a picture later, but you have uh, your temperature, tack, speedometer, and gas gauge but you also have access to other gauges if you need them. Then over here, there's a pocket that you probably can't see from where you're at, and then mirror controls. But what about the other stuff? Your hazards are up here, which I've never really understood putting them in the middle of the dash, but whatever. And then up here, you have a security light, clock, passenger airbag light, I think that might be it. And then you have your, this is a base model. Uh, so I don't have automatic climate control. I also have cloth seats. I don't know if the seat is in the shot or not. And then you just have basic, you know, how hard do you want it? How hot do you want it? And where do you want it? I forget who made that joke, but I liked it. Um, obviously it has an airbag has uh, the storage cubby, which I don't know if you can see, but it's very messy. I got receipts in there. Um, cup holders, gear shift, pretty nice uh, center console. You know, it's a very logical car. Um, one obvious thing that did not come with the car is this radio here. And uh, this was, I put this in. I want to upgrade the speakers. You could actually say, um, I need to upgrade the speakers. <laughs> Let me bring this back up. And, uh, but it does work. I'll close this this way. It might sound a little bit better. I gotta wait for the radio to connect. <laughs> but this is my uh, Boss uh, BE9 APC with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This was obviously not in the car from default. So we will uh, put this on. 
The speakers sound okay as they are. But at least one of the rear speakers is blown. Um, and speaking of the rear, let's... Uh, I have a little bit of a mess in there, but I think you guys will forgive me for that. Let's take a look at the back. Okay, the mess ain't as bad as I thought it was. Uh, the box there has some tools in it. Obviously grocery bags, because New Jersey makes you use reusable bags. But uh, the seats have nice little pockets in them. Oh, they're actually spring-loaded, too. Okay. Uh, there's a little pocket in the middle of the center console. There is no power ports back here. No USB, obviously. This is 2007. This is around the time. Actually, I don't think the Apple iPhone was uh, introduced when this car came out. Or And then, if you look at the doors themselves, there are no pockets or anything down here. There are pockets on the doors up front. They're not very big, not worth showing. But that seat there, both seats are all the way back. And my six-year-old son, who's very tall for his age, sits back here just comfortably. The, this is a pretty nice-sized car. And uh, for what I paid for it, I paid up a little bit. But it had brand new tires, brand new battery, brand new alternator. We'll get under the hood in a few minutes. But uh, let's check out the trunk. The trunk. The trunk is quite um, what Steve Mignante, I'll put a link to his channel, would like to say is commodious. It is actually quite large. I am a large man. You know, I have never tried folding the seats down yet. <laughs> But um, I'll try to put a picture up, I'll try to remember to, where I had four uh, garden tractor tires in here as well as a pallet and a bunch of other stuff. Um, underneath of here, oh, uh, there's a, let me see, is it in the shot or not? Yes, there's a little storage pocket here. It's not very big. But I've got the uh, Toyota Special oil filter wrench in here. Got a little bit extra oil. And, uh... Because this takes some stupid, like, 4.6 quarts of oil. So a five, you're not using quite a 5-quart jug. And, uh... <laughs> you know, it's kind of stupid. And then underneath, there's a spare tire. Uh, what is up with this? Oh. This is uh, this has to be. You have to un you lift up the carpet, then you unscrew the cap, and then you can pull the the uh, cardboard piece up. Not a stupid design, but not a great design. Not a lot of people are gonna think about that on the side of the road. But trunk space or trunk space wise, I'm very happy with this car. Um, it obviously doesn't replace pickup truck, but you know it. At least I don't really worry about space. Like, I went grocery shopping yesterday. I didn't even have to think twice about space. But let's go under the hood. I want to talk about that. One of the things I meant to mention while we were looking at the shifter... Oh, that has a brand new uh, motor mount, too. Um, I can tell because the bolt's brand new. Is uh, It has a four-speed automatic transmission, obviously. Um, they did offer these in a five-speed manual, but they were very rare. Uh, this is the 2.4 liter 16 valve v VVTi engine. Uh, takes 0W20 oil. Um, it, depending on what website you look at, it says it either makes 155 or 158 horsepower. Which honestly, for a car this size, really ain't bad. Um, because my... I don't, I haven't done a highway trip. I'm actually doing a highway trip next month. But I've been getting an, a, uh, a combined average because my trip is a little bit of what you'd call highway, but mostly stop and go uh, country road traffic. I've been getting about 28, 28 to 29 to the gallon. 
and that's really not bad. I have a feeling that when I'm on the highway next month doing 70 <laughs> to 80, because that's what the uh, speed limits are where I'm going, it's going to do a lot, met a lot better. Um, this engine is very tight. It has 200,000 miles, like I said. But what, a few things, when I looked at the car, I saw they had a brand new alternator. Brand, I didn't notice the motor mount, but that's brand new. I don't know if the others are. Uh, yeah, that one's brand new too. Um, it had a, I could tell that it had a valve cover gasket done. It had a new-ish looking catalytic converter. And there were no leaks anywhere. So between the tires, uh, a lot of this stuff's been done. I felt confident enough to pay a little bit extra for it, knowing that I needed to do a few things like the brakes. But the, because um, the uh, power steering is, I mean, you could use your pinky to steer this car. And I keep hearing what sounds like traffic on this little back road. Because I feel, sometimes I feel weird t doing outdoor videos. That's why I, I go to these secluded areas. Um, I do need to do hood struts on it. They're cheap. And literally, I, I don't need to do a video on them. You clip, unclip it here, unclip it here. You clip the new one on, you clip the new one on. It takes like five seconds aside. <laughs> but like I said, I put a new air filter in it. I did brand new spark plugs. I did wiper blades. Those even have a Toyota logo on them because I got them at the dealer. <laughs> And uh, it has a brand new die-hard battery and a advanced auto parts uh, just remanufactured uh, alternator. I'm not sure if it's the high end or the low end. Um, this thing runs absolutely perfect temperature and it stops and dries great. I'm not going to have it. If I had my GoPro with me, I'd do a driving video with it. But I, I did a little bit of driving video in the spark plug video. I'll link that below. But, oh shoot, this is an AGM battery too. See, I'm, I'm, I'm learning new things about it every day. So, that is quite a bug. Let me, uh, let me turn you guys. Um, yeah, you can see that. Sorry, I get, I get easily distracted. If you watch my videos long enough, you know that. But anyway, back to the car. <laughs> um, like I said, um, actually, let me see if I can point you in to that uh, brand new motor mount. I have my, of course, I have my shortest freaking tripod, and I can't tell with the little screen in the sun. But right here, brand new engine mount. The belt looks pretty good. Uh, actually, that looks like a really nice belt. But when I did the tune-up on it, I went to the Toyota dealer and got OEM plugs, uh, air filter, cabin air filter, wiper blades, and even a Toyota oil filter. <laughs> um, funny story, I am actually going to be sending the oil filter that's on the car now to a YouTube channel in... Uh, that does uh he cuts open oil filters i'm also going to send him a brand new one brand new oem one and a brand new aftermarket one so he can cut them open and compare it I, like i said before in other videos i'd like to support other channels that'll get him views maybe his viewers will come here after seeing it i don't know um yeah those are the original fans too but uh, these cars are, when, when I started looking for another car, I realized how many cars, it's going to sound harsh, but I hate. <laughs> you know, people send me like Volkswagens. I'm sorry, no Volkswagens, no Audis, no, no European cars, especially used, you know. And I started thinking, you know, what are some of the most reliable cars? So I started looking for, I started looking at Honda Accords and Toyotas. And I, I, I made my mind up on this because this was $2,000 cheaper than that Honda I was looking at. And the Honda I was looking at was in a very bad wreck at one point. <laughs> and was rebuilt so it had a salvage title. This doesn't have a salvage title. So it really didn't worry me at all. 
but I think I'm going to go ahead and end, that is weird, end the video here. I want to say thank you guys for watching, have a blessed day, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you feel so enthused, look at my Patreon. Have a great day.